This is a good example. Uh, this weekend, I did what I always do. I bought cheap tools, the cheapest possible price I can pay. And yeah, that's real. That's a half inch uh, Ryobi uh, with a, well, <clears throat> not the greatest battery for Ryobi, but it's a full half inch and it works. And for $4, are you kidding me? Yeah, there's a way to buy tools cheap. Let's talk about that because what happened here, this is yard sale. That's all that is. And I keep seeing guys sit in their car, the wife gets out, she goes and looks at some stuff on tables at a yard sale, comes back, they drive off. No idea that there's tools like this sitting there for $4. Uh, and this was actually late in the day. This was probably close to about uh, oh, 11, 11 a.m., something like that. Uh, had already hit a dozen yard place, yard sales, you know, that morning. And I come up on this and it's like, whoa, wait a minute. You know, that is an item. Next item, yard sale. Craig, Master Kit 4. Yeah, seriously, uh, $20. Are you kidding me? You know, so you get back to the house, you open the box and, uh, what, there's a brick in here. What, what, a brick? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I took the kit out of the box and I put it in my drawer here, but I got the whole Mark IV uh, kit, even with the little clampy thing and stuff. And again, $20 for all that? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's... Ah, yard sale, man. Yard sale. Sometimes the smallest thing at a yard sale can be pretty cool. This this was picked up for a dollar. And, oh, you know, granted it's used, it's banged up a little bit, but it still works. And it does everything I need to do. But fact was, I just didn't have one. I've lost the one I owned. I don't know what happened to it in the move. But uh, I picked up another one at a yard sale recently for a dollar. So, you know, something like that even could make your day. It's the... Uh, this is a, also a latest uh, buy from a yard sale, and it's it's not the uh, the point. It's not really a tool like most of the tools I'm going to show you today. But this thing here was five dollars, and I now have a little you know music in the uh, shop uh, if I want to. So you know that's that's a pretty good buy too at a yard sale. And again, guys, you got to think outside the box. Uh, the, they were selling this thing because they looked at it as being a little stereo. It doesn't really do a lot. It does play uh, DVDs, and that's the way they left it. They just left it at that. For $5, you can have it with speakers and everything. The thing is, is out in the garage, it didn't have any tunes to play, so I was like, you know, this will do just fine. I've used this uh, in the show in the past, and uh, it's I've done some, of course, some upgrades w with it, but uh, this was with the Craftsman router. I don't even know what size it is. I think it's a three-quarter horse, I believe. It was pretty good, whatever it was. And of course, I added this switch, but but this entire thing with the bits, uh, the router bits, and with the Craftsman. Let's see if I can even see what size this guy is. I really don't even know. I I don't see it on here. Uh, ball bearing, high RPM. Ah, whoa, one and a half horsepower Craftsman router with the table, the stand, and everything. And like I said, and the router bits, if I can find them, right here. All right. Are you ready? Total price. Cha-ching, cha-ching. What do you think? I'm going to tell you right now. $40. Yeah. Cash. But it was at a yard sale. I have featured this tool, uh, I guess, on the show, too. It was sort of a yard sale, but it was, it was a freebie giveaway item. And what it needed was a new power switch. Uh, since then, I have had to change the belts, but the thing was when I got it, all I had to do was put a switch on it and I started using it. Down the road, after using quite a bit, I finally had to buy some belts for it. But that was a freebie. Uh, you know, if that's a yard sale, wow. Okay, right now you can slap yourself and say, no, but this was a yard sale item. This saw was purchased for $20 at a yard sale. That's where it was sourced from. There was more story behind it because the guy, if he couldn't sell it that day, was going to scrap it out. But for $20 with the blades and accessories and stuff, for $20, wow, yeah, wow. These are pretty popular. They seem to show up at yard sales quite often. But a lot of times they have a lot of, uh, you know, gobbly goose stuff in them that's, that's handy. This whole unit here with the drawers and the hardware that's in it was a dollar. And again, 
you know, if you go to a yard sale and you see something like this for a buck, you know, and if you're into tools like me, you just buy it because you don't even know what's in here. And it's like, I don't even care. You know, I'll, I'll deal with whatever's in there down the road. But here's a lot of really neat hardware, little drawers, storage, and a dollar. There's a, these things seem to sell for about $20, $30 in the stores uh, generally, at least the newer ones anyways. This is an obviously an older set. I've got three of, three of these sets now, and I've paid like a dollar a piece for them at a yard sale. My point is, guys, you don't have to go to the big box store all the time, or the little box store, whatever, and get tools. You can buy cheap tools at yard sales or even sometimes consignment stores. Uh, there's a lot of other places you can look. Uh, Goodwill, of course, would be another one, I suppose. But a lot of times I pick stuff up and I generally I sort of keep a rule. I don't shop past like noontime on a Saturday to, to do yard sale hopping. But uh, if you have a wife or a girlfriend, whatever, that loves to go yard sale hopping, it makes her day and you get to pick up crazy stuff like this and bring it home. Probably not the most exciting item, but I got these two black and deckers at a yard sale for five dollars a piece. I'm happy. I've shown this tool uh, on the show actually in the past with some other things, modifications. But again, this was purchased right from a yard sale, and of course, it, it still works to this day. So, pretty happy with it. Uh, what I paid at the time was a little high. It was around fifteen dollars. But again, for $15, all this, wow. This is another uh, example of a yard sale item. We'll just take a quick look at it. It's a 12 drawer. I think I've mentioned it before, but paid $300 cash for it. But, you know, that's a good buy uh, at any, any price. Let's take a look at another one. Okay, granted, this is not a great toolbox. It's just a cobalt with two drawers and whatever. But I left, this, I left the sticker price on so you could see it. Went to a yard sale. Uh, gal's giving her husband stuff away. He's probably rolling in the grave somewhere. <laughs> but you know, for a dollar, uh, I can use a toolbox like that. I'll I'll do something with it. Not a great item. It's really old. It's a Delta. It's a 10-inch drill press. But it sits on the bench. It's really heavy. But again, this was purchased at a yard sale. That's where I got this. A lot of uh, a lot of power tools uh, I buy at yard sales. Sometimes they need a little work. Sometimes they don't need anything. Uh, this one here has been with me for several years now, but back at the time I purchased the yard sale, I paid about $40 for it. Again, fabulous price compared to having to buy a brand new one. If you're on a budget like myself for tools and you want tools, but you really can't afford to just go out and buy everything you want, yard sales can get you things like this and I have no reason to replace this anytime or even near the future. Uh, I think I put a new belt on it at one time. But other than that, uh, it's the motor, you know, it works, it works great. Yeah, here's another uh, fairly recent find. And again, yard sale, 20 bucks. Craftsman, it's a good skill saw. Actually, it's beat up since I had it, but it looked like brand new when I bought the darn thing. In fact, this wasn't even scratched up. This is all, my, you know, from me using it. And I've only had it for a couple years now, but it still works great. It is an older uh, Craftsman unit. But I, my point uh, this week with copying tools is to buy stuff like this, you can go to yard sales. You can find circular saws like this. A lot of times, You'll pay anywhere from $15 to $30, but you'll be buying a really good saw, and you're not spending $150 to buy one of these in the stores. Granted, uh, yeah, I like the stuff that's in the stores as much as anybody, but I don't have a big budget for this sort of thing. So going to yard sales and finding this sort of thing for low dollars, it really helps me out because it gives me a great variety of a lot of tools that I now own. And these are tools that I look after and you know continue to use year after year. Yep, yard sale. Uh, picked this one up for about five dollars, and it even said the guy even gave me a set of blades to go with it. It works great. I've still used it to this day. What has surprised me is how many times I have needed these little oscillating saws, and I haven't invested any money in them yet. I still might buy a real good one yet. <laughs> Not one of my favorite tools at the time, but again, and just you just see the value. I like tools so. You know, Hitachi, anything, anything tools is cool. Uh, there it is there. It's a pretty heavy, uh, really heavy uh, Hitachi drill. 
kind of slow because it's really built for, I guess, driving some big things, making holes, whatever. The thing was here was a yard sale again. And price-wise, you're looking at $30. That's what I paid. So, you know, wow, awesome item. Another great yard sale find. Before I even open the box, I'll tell you right now, they were asking $10. And what did I get? Yeah, almost like new, rigid sawzall with the cord and some blades in a uh, plastic box here. $10, yard sale. What? Yeah, really. Awesome deal. The, the whole point uh, was this isn't clickbait. It's just this is a way to buy tools cheap and get a lot of variety. Sometimes you don't always get exactly what you're shopping for. Obviously, yard sales are like, it's a casino thing. You just, you just drive up to yard sales and you find out they have tools, they don't have tools. Sometimes all they have is baby clothes and uh, really worn out shoes. <laughs> Something great, you know. But you will hit them. And as you hit them, you'll pick up some fantastic deals. And I have not... Uh, the Ryobi for $4, I just couldn't say no. A half inch drive with the battery. I have chargers. I already have a full set of Ryobi anyway. So it was like, you know, I don't need that. But for $4, I'm not walking away from that. When my Ryobi quits, I guess I got another, I got a backup model. The thing was, uh, there's just a lot of variety of different tools that we all need for our tool shops anyways. So as you hit yard sales, you pick stuff up that you either need or, man, I never thought about that, but I'd like to own one. And for 10 or $15 or something, heck yeah, I'll throw it in the car. I will bring it home. You know? <laughs> Thank you for watching Coffee and Tools this week. That's the cheapest way to buy tools.